So last season I had to plant pretty much everything in peat pots because we had a little mouse and vole problem. These things called predator guard, they're like the best thing ever. Um, they not only run away things underground, but they also run away things that are on top of the ground. Like, I mean, they don't chase them very far, but check this out. I'm gonna tap right here. Do you hear that beep, that long beep? And then I have some other um, solar powered also um, predator guards around here. Um, in places that we had digging for like snakes and moles and voles and mice. And then of course I have the, the ultrasonic ones that I have for deer. I don't know if you just heard that. That one's motion detected, but it also does by sound. <laughs> this one is not a predator guard. It's um, just a generic, do you hear that beeping sound? It's just a generic solar powered ultrasonic pest deterrent and it will pick up um, about 300 yards of movement. I have to face it away from the road. I mean, even right now, I'm walking behind it and it's still going. Yeah, the ultrasonic ones will detect deer and rabbits. And, and speaking of rabbits, I wanna show you something that I thought was interesting. We have clover, this is clover. We have not had clover for three years over here. I mean, there's never been clover here before, like not ever. This used to be a soybean field and we've been trying to cultivate it into lawn and garden since then. And this is honest to goodness clover. And the only thing I can think of is either um, when the rabbits were coming over here and kind of cleaning up, they were dropping their, um, you know, pellets as they went and they must have eaten clover somewhere else. I could say that about the deer, but the deer never came up this far. So that's kind of neat that something ate here and then left seeds that never have been here before. Now here I have a predator guard. It's a little bit deeper in the ground, um, mainly because there are, you know, critters that might run away from the other ones and they might pop off here. Now I have this, um, the generic one pointed out. Um, toward uh, the mulberry tree and anything that comes around that corner which the deer sometimes will um, run directly I don't know if you can see it from here because um, in that hunting lodge there's like a little private drive and the deer will run through there and they'll run right through the driveway and then back across that way and this makes sure that they don't decide to stop and take a little nibble All right, so it has been three days since I've put these ultrasonic pest deterrent devices in the ground. First of all, are they still working? Those two don't seem like it. All right, let's find out. So I put, I don't know if you can see that, this little round thing there, there's a sunflower seed in there. If we have any mice at all, they're gonna find it today. Now, I put some beans in here last year. I would not have been able to keep the mice out of here, but you can see that nothing's dug into these things now. And they've been in the ground for three, four days now. And it has been untouched. This was actually me right there. Um, I let a bag fall on top of it. I can say for certain there have been no deer here.
there have been no sign of deer whatsoever all throughout and all these young tender plants and all the grass that's growing out here the deer would love to be in here there's been no deer poop no deer tracks i'm actually enjoying coming out and seeing that nothing's been eaten overnight 